Let's talk about problem C, safe distance. In this problem, we have a room with n people, and we want to go from the start to finish positions while staying away as far away as possible from the people. We can represent the room as a rectangle in a 2D plane, and each person as a point. One idea is to treat all people as circles with the same radius r. A path with distance r is possible if we don't need to step inside the circles. Let's reframe this. So the starting position is in the lower left corner and the finish position is in the upper right corner. A path is possible if there are no overlapping set of circles exceeding both borders. We can see in the image on the right that these three circles overlap and exceed both borders. This means that there is no possible way that we can pass through without going closer than distance r. The optimal distance is found when circles are touching each other or touching a border. In this example, two circles are touching, so this means that we can pass through the touching point. There are multiple solutions for this problem. One of them is defining a function f of t to be true if a path with distance t is possible. We can observe that f is monotonic. This means that if distance t is possible, any distance lower than d is also possible. So we can use binary search to find the maximum possible distance. To compute f of t, we can go through all pairs of circles and check if they overlap. If they do, we group them using union find and check if they exceed both northwest and southeast borders. This approach takes n squared of n, and there is an also uh, an extra log factor because of the binary search. This would be fast enough for this problem. Another approach is based on graphs. Note that the, the path we want to find either goes through the northwest border the southeast border or goes through the touching point of circles. So we can associate S with the northwest border, defining the distance between S and each people as the distance between this point and, the, and this border, and similarly between each point and F, associating F with the southeast border. And the distance, I mean the weight between two points is half their distance because this would be the radius of the circles. Now in this graph we can compute the shortest path from S to F, keeping the best distance we've seen so far. This approach would take complexity n squared.